We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 12, dry fly oak. This is fluorescent green uh, UTC ultra thread. We'll just put, start behind the hook only. And go way, ways back to about there. Get rid of that and then we can go forward again. And what we want is just a little bit of wax on top there. I don't want to wax the thread because that will interfere with the deer hair. We clean and stack a bunch of bleached elk. Now this is, I want to measure this about the same length as the hook shank. I want to go over here twice and then we can tighten into it and then we want to go back a few turns we lift the body and we want to trim this at an angle this is it helps if the deer hair here is long because you can keep hold of it there we go I'll just turn this around trim it to an angle so we get a taper on the body there we go and I'll just tighten this up check that it's in the right place that's looking good and just go back over the butt ends and go back to about just behind the hook point and we need some Coq de Leon this is uh, medium ginger speckled for the tail so what we do here is we just pull the fungibus out from the 90 degrees from the stem of the feather so the points are level and we take hold of all of them and we just rip them off like that. Bunch them up. You decide how long you want the tail. A bit too long for my likings. Just shorten that a little bit. That's good. And we go up here. And we'll trim off the ends of the cocktail just so they fall to the tapered body. There we go. I missed one there. But there. Tying thread flat. I'm going to go up here that's good, I'm going to go back now what we can do is if you want to flare the tail we can go under and back so we get that flare of a mayfly tail just lock that off a couple of turns. This is a synthetic uh, and natural blend in a kind of medium cream uh, dubbing I've made. So we just want a little bit here to start with and we just slide that up, catch it in and then we can tighten it up and go forward. I want a scruffy body on this, it really helps with Not only flotation but fishability I think. We all have different thoughts on that. A little bit more. And go up to there. We divide our deer hair into two wings. One at the front. Just press them down. 
on at the back like that a little bit more dubbing now what I like to do to lock this off properly is once I've split the wing divided it I like to go in between with a couple of turns and then I'll bring the wing forward again and finish off the abdomen as you can see I've left a little bit there just bring those forward there we are. and go back this kind of if you understand me this kind of presses the rear wing together so we'll just tighten up that dubbing again don't worry if you're going to get one stray fibre caught underneath can we lift the front wing press it back and we go in front with the remaining dot of dubbing just to hold it erect that's good and give it a whip finish or two like so remove the tying thread a couple of hairs there that gone astray there we are it's the double decker split comparison wing and if you enjoy the videos please like and subscribe and thanks for watching